Yo guys, welcome back and welcome kung bago ka sa channel na to. So, pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon is geometric sequence naman. So, geometric sequence is a sequence where each succeeding term is obtained by multiplying a non-zero constant called the common ratio. So, example ng geometric sequence is So, ito yung example ng ating geometric sequence. So, makikita nyo, nag-multiply lang tayo ng 2. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. 4 times 2, that is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So, nag-multiply tayo ng non-zero constant para makuha natin yung mga succeeding term. Okay? So, yung tawag dito sa non-zero constant is common ratio. So, pag pinapa-identify sa inyo yung sequence, kung geometric ba siya or hindi, Titignan mo lang kung meron sila ang common ratio. Okay? So, yung formula ng common ratio is A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. Or A sub 3 divided by A sub 2. Okay? Or any number divided by the preceding term. Okay? So, A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. So, yung preceding term ng, two, ng A sub 2 is A sub 1. Okay? Pag sinabing preceding term, yung nauli sa kanya. Okay? Okay, so yung 2 yung a sub 1 natin, a sub 2 is 4, a sub 3 is 8, a sub 4 is 16. So kung kukunin natin yung common ratio, divide lang natin, 4 divided by 2, okay? The term divided by the preceding term, okay? Yung nauling term sa kanya. So 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Pwede rin, uh, a sub 3 divided by a sub 2. So 8 divided by 4, that is 2. Or 16 divided by 8, that is 2, okay? Now kapag pinapakuha naman yung next term, halimbawa a sub 5, so, para makuha natin si A sub 5, multiply lang natin yung common ratio sa A sub 4. So, 2 times 16, that is 32. And for A sub 6 naman, so multiply naman natin yung common ratio sa A sub 5. So, 2 times 32, that is 64. Okay? Now, pag pinapakuha naman sa atin, halimbawa, A sub 10. So, meron naman tayong formula dito. So, kung may formula tayo sa arithmetic sequence, meron din tayong formula sa geometric sequence. So, yung formula niya is, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. So, yung a sub 1 natin is yung first term. Yung r natin yung common ratio. And then, yung n is yung number of terms. Now, gamitin natin yung formula para masolve natin si a sub 10. So, a sub 10 is equal to a sub 1 that is 2 times the common ratio. So, common ratio natin is 2 to the power of n minus 1. So, n natin is 10. So, 10 minus 1. So, simplify natin. That is 2 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. That is 9. So, 2 to the power of 9. That is... So, 2 to the power of 9. That is... 512. So, 2 times 512, that is 1,024. So, therefore, yung A sub 10 natin is 1,024. And another example, example number 2. What is the fifth term of the geometric sequence 3 over 20, 3 over 2, 15, and so on? So, yung terms ng ating geometric sequence is 3 over 20, 3 over 2, 15, and so on. So, pinapanap sa atin yung fifth term. So, yung A sub 5. So, again, yung formula natin sa geometric sequences. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 times R to the power of 1. N minus 1. E. So, now, A sub 1 natin is 3 over 20. Then, yung common ratio natin is, so, solve na natin si common ratio. So, ano yun? Common ratio is simply uh, any term divided by the, divided by its preceding term. So, okay, so, pwede A sub 2 over A sub 1, or pwede rin A sub 3 over A sub 2, or A sub 4 over A sub 3. So, gamitin lang natin si A sub 2 over A sub 1. So, A sub 2 natin is 3 halves, divided by, Divided by A sub 1, that is 3 over 20. So, equal lang to sa 
3 halves times 20 over 3. Okay? Pinukaw lang natin yung reciprocal ng divisor, then multiply. Then cancel na yung 3. Then 20 over 2, that is 10. So, there, so therefore, yung common ratio natin is 10. So, nasolve na natin yung common ratio. Now, solve na natin si A sub 5 gamit yung formula. So, A sub 5 is equal to A sub 1, that is 3 over 20, times the common ratio, 10, to the power of n minus 1. So, n natin is 5, so 5 minus 1. Okay? Then, simplify na natin to 5 minus 1, that is 4. So, gawin na natin siyang 4. And then, 10 to the power of 4, that is... 10,000. Then, 10,000 divided by 20. So, cancel yung isang 0. 1,000 divided by 2, that is 500. Times 3, that is 1,500. Okay? So, therefore, yung A sub 5 natin is 1,500. Then, next example tayo. Find the sixth term of the geometric sequence where the second term is 6 and the common ratio is 2. So, dito, pinapanap sa atin yung A sub 6. So, yung given is yung, so, given is yung A sub 2, that is 6, and then yung common ratio is 2. So, gamitin natin yung formula ng geometric sequence, that is, A sub n is equal to A sub 1 times R to the power of n minus 1. So, wala pa tayong A sub 1. Kailangan natin ng A sub 1. So, solve muna natin. So, yung common ratio is equal siya sa A sub 2 over A sub 1. Okay? So, now, masasolve muna natin yung A sub 1. Kasi meron na tayong A sub 2 and common ratio. So, pagpalitin lang natin to. So, A sub 1 is equal to A sub 2 over R. Okay? So, A sub 1 is equal to A sub 2, that is 6, over R, that is 2. Therefore, yung A sub 1 natin is 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Okay? So, A sub 1 is equal to 3. So, now, substitute na natin to sa formula. Okay? So, yung hinanap natin is A sub 6. So, A sub 6 is equal to A sub 1. That is 3 times the common ratio to, to the power of, so n natin is 6 kasi a sub 6 yung hinahanap natin, minus 1. Okay? And then, simplify muna natin itong exponent. So that is 6 minus 1, that is 5. And then, 2 to the power of 5, that is 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, that is 8, times 2, 16, times 2. 32. So, 32 siya. So, magiging 3 times 32. Okay? 3 times 32, that is 96. So, therefore, yung A sub 6 natin is 96. And last example natin. In the geometric sequence, 6, 12, 24, 48, which term is 768? So, yung hinahanap natin dito is yung N. Okay? So, yung geometric sequence natin is 6, 12, 24, 48. So, which term daw is 768? Okay? So, inanap natin yung N. So, gamitin natin yung formula. A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R to the power of N minus 1. So, yung N yung inanap natin. So, given na yung A sub 1, that is 6. And then, yung common ratio. So, solve muna natin yung common ratio. So, common ratio is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1. Or any term divided by its preceding term. Pwede rin A sub 3 over A sub 2 or A sub 4 over A sub 3. So, ito yung gamitin natin, yung A sub 2 over A sub 1. So, A sub 2 natin is 12. Divided by A sub 1, that is 6. So, 12 divided by 6, that is 2. So, therefore, yung common ratio natin is 2. Okay? Now, now, solve na natin sa n. 
substitute lang natin itong mga given sa formula. So, i-sub n natin, that is 768. I-sub 1 natin is 6. Then, yung common ratio natin is 2. Then, to the power of n minus 1. So, yun yung hinahanap natin. No? And then, divide tayo ng 6. So, 768 divided by 6. That is 1. 6, 1, 16. That is 2. 12, uh, 4, 48. So, 8. So, 768 divided by 6 is 1 to 8. And then, cancel na to, 2 to the power of n minus 1 na naman. Now, itong 1 to 8, equal siya sa 2 to the power of 7. 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16, times 2, 32, times 2, 64, and times 2, 1 to 8. So, 2 to the power of 7 siya. So, 2 to the power of 7 is equal to 2 to the power of n minus 1. Now, para sila ng base, 2. So, i-equate lang natin yung exponent nila. So, 7 is equal to n minus 1. Then, transpose natin, magiging 7 plus 1 is equal to n. Therefore, n is equal to 8. So, therefore, yung 7, 6, 8 is 8 term siya or a sub 8. Okay, so yun na yung final answer. So kung meron kayong problems na related sa topic natin, comment below lang guys. And comment below rin kung na-upload yung video nito. Thank you for watching and uh, huwag niyong kalimutang ilike.